okay guys here we are once more in this video I'm gonna be talking about volume now before I move into anything as far as showing you how to find the volume of, a, of an object we have to look at the definition carefully now what is volume volume is the amount of space within a three-dimensional object Wow three-dimensional object hmm what does he mean by that well here's a three-dimensional object and this object is a three-dimensional object simply because it has length, it has width, and it has height. It has three dimensions. It has length, width, and height. Now, how do we find the volume of a three-dimensional object? Well, we have to multiply the three dimensions. You know, we have to look at the, the formula essentially. And let's look at this formula right here. This formula says volume equals length times width times height. Okay, now let's find the length, width, and height of this three-dimensional object. Well, we can say that our length is three centimeters. We can say that our height is five centimeters. We can say that the width is two centimeters. So remember, Let's look at our formula one more time. It says length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So our length is three, our height is five, our width is two. So we're gonna multiply these three numbers right here. So here we go, we're gonna multiply them. Two, uh, three times two times five equals 30. So we can't just leave it at that, of course, because we have units of centimeters. So we're going to essentially say that the area is 30 centimeters cubed. Hmm, cubed. Now, why do we have a three right here? Of course, as we said, the three is cubed, and it means the three dimensions that were multiplied to come to this answer. And the three dimensions that are multiplied are length, width, and height. Therefore, we have a tiny little three, which represents cubed. So again, in order to find the volume of a three-dimensional object, we just have to multiply the length by the width by the height in order to get the answer. In this case, it's three times five, which is 15, and 15 times two, which gives us 30. And of course, remember our units, which is centimeters. So we have our centimeters right here in our answer. And because it's three dimensions that are being multiplied, we have our three, a little tiny little three right here, which means cubed. So again, the area of this 3D shape or three object is 30 centimeters cubed. 